वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल इन्फिनिटी स्कॉलर्स हब इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास एथ विच इज रैशनल नंबर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर फाइन सो लेट्स गोन टू द फर्स्ट लाइट ओके सी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद रैशनल नंबर्स वी शुड वेरी वेल नो द डिफरेंट नंबर्स विच वी हैव स्टडीड अपटिल नाउ द नंबर्स विच वी हैव स्टडीड अपटिल नाउ आर नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स fractions decimals integers right so rational number is something which is which comes after this all topics right see natural numbers uh let's say if you are sitting in a hall and there are lots of chairs in that hall so what do we do and uh, someone has told you to count those chairs so what will you do you will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and you will keep on going right so generally when we count we start from 1 So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we call this type of numbers counting numbers. So natural numbers are also called what? Counting numbers. And we start the we start a counting from one. So all the set of natural numbers we denote them with a capital N. And this set contains numbers starting from one, two, three, four, and so on. Right. so uh these are what are natural numbers now let's take the next group of numbers which are whole numbers now see uh, let's say that in the same hall uh the chairs are already like uh the function is over and the chairs are taken back so there are no chairs right so what do we say we say that there are zero chairs in the hall okay so zero happens to be an important number so when we bring this zero with the group of natural numbers we call this whole group as whole numbers so let's say this is your group of natural numbers where in you have 1 2 3 and so on right so uh, zero is not included in this group right so when i include a zero over here this whole group this whole group is called what this whole group is called whole numbers so this is what whole numbers so simply uh, okay uh, the important points to remember over here are the smallest natural number is 1 and the greatest natural number is you can say not you you cannot say it's infinite the greatest natural number you cannot say same way the smallest whole number is 0 and the uh, greatest smaller num smaller uh, sorry the greatest number you cannot say right so now in whole numbers okay one more question can be asked to you that uh are all natural numbers whole numbers so in that case the answer will be yes because the whole group of whole numbers contains natural numbers as well okay on the other hand if you are asked that all whole numbers are natural numbers then it's false because zero is a whole number which is not a natural number we denote the group of whole numbers with a capital w and this set of numbers contains 0 1 2 3 Four and so on. Okay. Next, now see whole numbers. We are clear with it. Now there are negative numbers. Let's say on subtracting a smaller number from a greater number, your answer is positive, right? Like if you are subtracting two from five, that means you are doing five minus two. So your answer is three. The answer is positive, right? But what if you subtract a greater number from a smaller number? Say uh you have to subtract 4 from 1 okay so it will be 1 minus 4 okay so in this case uh there was a need to introduce negative numbers okay so 1 minus 4 you do you get minus 3 fine so negative numbers are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and so on so basically if you see the group of negative numbers it is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and it keeps on going okay the smallest number you do not know okay but the greatest negative integer is minus 1 you should know that okay when we talk about negative numbers see if you see minus 3 is less than minus 2 right till now what 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 did we know that 3 is greater than 2 but after studying negative numbers we can uh, conclude that minus 3 is less than minus 2 right so remember on the negative side uh, whichever numerical value is greater 
that number is actually smaller right so fine now if we combine the group of negative numbers and whole numbers we get a whole new group which is called integers right so these are your negative numbers let's say minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay and so on now when i include this whole two groups together this forms integers this is what integers now see note one thing over here many of them uh when they are asked that is 2.4 an integer so they generally tend to confuse or uh, they start thinking that yes uh, whether 2.4 is a, is an integer or not so the answer to this is it is not an integer see all the decimals and all the fractions are excluded from in, uh, excluded from integers right the integers is purely a number like 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 anything in between or any fraction or any decimal does not fall or uh, is not under the category of integers so fractions and decimals is completely a separate group so fraction and decimals okay when we join these two groups together the fraction and decimal and integers we get a new type of uh numbers which is rational numbers this is what rational numbers okay note over here negative fractions are also included in this negative fractions okay say you have 2 upon 5 when you put a negative sign to it that means it's a negative fraction okay fine so let's go on to the next slide then okay now the basic definition of rational numbers is what uh any number in the form p upon q so if i write p upon q okay and if p and q are integers p is what p is an integer and q is also an integer okay and your q is not equal to 0 then you say that that number is what that number is rational number let's take an example if i say 2 by 5 okay now if you see the numerator it is an integer okay basically when i write p upon q that means p is my numerator and q is my denominator so uh, my p is 2 over here so 2 is an integer q is also an integer right and this q that means the denominator is not equal to 0 that means you can say that yes this is a rational number okay rational comes from the word ratio okay ratio ratio uh, and rational numbers are denoted by q okay fine uh, let's take another example say if i give you minus 3 upon 5 so minus 3 is again an integer and 5 is also an integer and the denominator is not equal to 0 that means this is a rational number okay now you should know few things about rational numbers that all the integers are rational numbers all the whole numbers are rational numbers all fractions are rational numbers all decimals are rational numbers then all uh, negative numbers are rational numbers all whole numbers are rational numbers okay but the converse of this is not true that means if i say that all rational numbers are fractions so that is false if i say all rational numbers are integers that is also false so remember this fact that all types of numbers fall under the category of rational numbers okay i am uh, speaking about the numbers which you all have learned up till now okay uh, going in the higher grades you will learn about uh many more numbers which are excluded from the group of rational numbers so the numbers which i have studied up till now falls under the category of rational numbers okay then going on to positive rational numbers see positive rational number only remember that if numerator and denominator have same sign then that particular rational number is called a positive rational number for example 2 upon 5 if you see the numerator and denominator both of them are having same sign so it's a positive rational number if i say minus 2 upon minus 5 so this is also positive rational number because numerator and denominator are having same sign on the other hand what is a negative rational number if any of them numerator or the denominator is negative then that particular rational number is negative say for example minus 2 upon 5 so this is a negative rational number because the numerator is negative say for example 7 upon 
this is again a negative rational number because the denominator is negative so either the numerator or denominator is negative then that particular rational number is a negative rational number going on to the next one equivalent rational number this is something similar to equivalent fractions you have studied this in your lower grades that uh, what is equivalent rational number whenever you multiply or divide any particular rational number with same non zero numerator and denominator then the result which you get is a is an equivalent rational number for example 2 upon 5 correct what am i doing over here i am multiplying the numerator and denominator by 5 right you have to see remember you have to take same non zero numerator and denominator so the answer will be 10 upon 25 so this is this is what this is a uh, equivalent rational number on the other hand if you take uh, 169 and you take uh, 52 okay so 13 fours is 52 so 13 uh, fours are yeah so see now the common factor between 169 and 52 is what it is 13 right because both these numbers comes in the table of 13 so i will divide the numerator and denominator both by 13 right so the result will be what 13 upon 4 because uh, when you divide 169 and 13 that is the quotient is 13 and when you divide 52 and 13 then the quotient is 4 so this is your equivalent rational number speaking about the last topic in this which is simplest form of a rational number see when i say simplest form simplest form means what if your numerator and denominator have no common factor other than one then the uh, rational number is in simplest form okay is that clear see if i write 2 upon 8 okay the common factor between numerator and denominator is 2 over here okay see one is always one is going to be the common factor always right but we have to check apart from one is there some other common factor if there is some common factor then that particular rational number is not in the simplest form okay so two ones are and two fours are so the simplest form of this rational number 2 upon 8 is 1 by 4. So this is our simplest form. Okay, I hope uh, whatever we have discussed in this uh, video uh, is very much clear to everyone. And uh, if you wish to uh, post more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel. You can uh, post the topic in the comment section and we will make a video on it. Thank you.